Yay! Fabulous people. Welcome to live for all the babes who create their own live trends. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to have you guys all here, but mainly and most importantly, I am excited that my Greek internet decided to cooperate today. <laughs> So I can see you guys. So the priority is first internet and then <laughs> and then seeing you all because without the internet, I won't be able to do that. Hi, fabulous. Welcome. And uh, today we are going to talk about Greece travel restrictions, Greece travel update, what's going on, what's happening. I'm going to share all of it with you. I see there are some people already who joined. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. And before I begin, I just wanted to let you know, guys, that even though this is right now I'm uh, doing this live, if you watch this after this live ends, please feel free to... Leave me a comment if you have any questions regarding the topic that I'm going to be covering today. I will respond. I always respond to everyone. It is not a problem, so don't feel like you missed out. You did not miss out on anything. I'm going to give you the information, and then you will be able to ask me questions in the comments below, okay? The only missed opportunity that you had is to say hello to me live that's the only missed opportunity that you're gonna get and that's it that's it there's no missed opportunities here all right fabulous people let's get started so i'm going to make it um hopefully concise because i am a talker you guys know that so i'm um i'm going to try to stick to a subject so i am right now currently in paris greece for those of you who is new to my channel, those of you who is new to me, I am currently in Paris, Greece. I've been traveling Greece for over four months now. So I do have a really good grasp on the situation, on what's happening here, on the, all the travel updates. I'm constantly following up. So today I'm going to share with you because so many of you are asking me questions, be it in the comments, be it via emails, DMs on Instagram. By the way, guys, one thing that I wanted to ask you all, if you can please, if you have any questions for me, please make sure to leave me comments below the video. I see your emails. I try to respond to everyone, but there is just so much. And then it's hard for me to keep track whom I responded, who I'm not, which questions comes from where. So if you want 100% response, to your question, just please feel free. And the best way to do it is to leave me a message in the comment, okay? So just leave me a comment, guys. That's the only way, the best way, okay? All right, and um, I wanted to start with saying that the for those of you who are traveling to Greece in 2021, the pretty much travel right now requirements is for you to either have a vaccine, either be vaccinated, and it has to be, of course, with vaccines that are approved by the European Union, or you can do a test, a negative test, 72 hours prior to your flight. So you can do either or. So either you're vaccinated or you can do a negative test. Just make sure that it is done 72 hours prior to your departure. Another thing that is very, very important, and that is for everyone, guys, is a PLF form. PLF form is super important to fill out. I cannot stress that enough, guys. The PLF form pretty much is a very simple document that you can fill out online. <laughs> Ciao, Carlo. That you can fill out online that pretty much gives Greek government an understanding where you are, where you're going to be staying in Greece, who is your emergency contact, how are you getting to Greece, airline information, all of it. So they just need to be able to keep track of you in case something happens in Greece. So that is very important to fill out. I left a link for you guys to this form down below in the description to this live. So if you need that form, it is for you down below, 
okay it's very easy very quick to fill out online it's all automatic and then as soon as you fill out that form that plf form it pretty much Ooh. <laughs> I was reading the comments. It, stay on track, Anastasia. Stay on track. So as soon as you, um, as soon as you fill out that PLF form, the Greek government pretty much right away sends you a confirmation that that form is filled out, and then you're supposed to receive QR code, and that code is what you need to present when you arrive to Greece. So it is very very important for you guys to have that code. Otherwise, you won't be able to enter Greece. So first PLF, fill it out, then wait for QR code, and then you're good to go. Then you're good to travel. Now, do you need to print that QR code in PLF form? It is not required, but I do recommend for you guys to do that. So I do recommend for you to have that form printed out because you just never know. You don't know what which agent you're going to get what he or she will ask of you so just to save yourself any just unnecessary headache i would have it printed out now one thing guys about the plf form and the reason why i'm talking about it so much is because i just went through it with my mom who is supposed to fly hi mom if you're watching who is supposed to fly to greece tomorrow so she's leaving in a, actually in a few hours and she will be here hopefully tomorrow but one thing that when we were file, filing out all the documents for her one thing that uh, we kind of in one of the things that we ran into sorry guys i've been speaking italian all day and then greek, uh, greek and then russian with my mom so right now my brain is trying to catch up through the english language but pretty much when uh, we started doing all the filing all the plf documents for her we filled it out on the 16th we waited three days and we did not receive qr code so the qr code was supposed to arrive right and we didn't receive it so of course my mom freaked out as all parents you know they want everything organized my mom is the one who arrives to the airport literally four hours before the flight and just sits there but of course she was very nervous so what i had to do i called the representative of uh, Greek government that deals with the PLF forms. And that customer service representative explained to me that they sent QR code the midnight of your arrival to Greece. So in case you don't receive that QR code, don't freak out. Most likely you just will receive it literally the night of your arrival to Greece. But if you are worrying about it like she was worrying about it and she wanted to know what's happening Is, will she be able to travel she literally told me this morning she's like so should i go to the airport or should i just cancel the flight i'm like mom what are you talking about <laughs> you're not canceling the flight go to the airport you silly goose but pretty much guys if you're worrying about it if you just want to double check i know how it is you're flying internationally of course you want to have all your documents in order I left you a phone number of that emergency PLF contact where you can call guys and they will be able to um, give you a response of what's going on in your situation. So that is a very important phone number to have. Make sure you have it written down. I left it right underneath that PLF form. It is, guys, it took me some time to find it because I literally started writing all over Greece's help. I need this. My mom is leaving today. I don't know what to do. We need the QR code. And they gave me that emergency contact information. So guys, this is gold. Like I can't stress enough the importance of this phone number. So save it. It is for you guys. I went through all this headache to get it for you. I hope you will never need it, but just in case. So you have the PLF form, you have the emergency contact information in case you did not receive your QR code for the PLF. Next thing that I want to talk about is the Greek island hopping, guys, because, yes, another thing that is um, a lot of people are trying to figure out is the Greek island hopping, because there are a lot of 
misinformation, rumors, whatever you want to call it, going around. Some people are saying you don't need a test to travel between the islands. Some people saying you absolutely need some kind of test, either negative COVID test that you do before you come to Greece or you do a self-test. You can just go to a pharmacy and get it. You need you needed to travel between this islands, but you don't need to travel it between this island. So what I did, and you can find it actually in my video traveling to Greece. I left it for you also in the description, but pretty much what I did, I went to numerous ferry representatives and I asked them what is happening. Do we need negative tests? Do we need tests? to travel between the islands. And every single one of them told me that you do not need a test to travel between the islands. So if you are doing Greek island hopping, you don't need negative tests, guys. And to make it more specific and precise, the only time you do need a test if you're traveling from Piraeus or Athena. So those are, if you are traveling from those two places to Greek islands, you do need to test. If you are traveling between Greek islands, like let's say Mykonos to Santorini, Santorini, Paros, Paros, Antiparos, you don't need a negative test. Now, as with everything, it can be tricky also, how are you traveling? For example, if you're traveling by air, I would do self-test just to be on the safe side, guys, just to be on the safe side. If you are traveling between Greek islands by ferry, Guys, in my opinion, you are safe. You don't need anything. I asked ferry representatives. I have it all in recording for you. You guys can listen it in that video, Traveling to Greece video that I recently posted. I literally recorded her saying this. And again, this is not just one representative. I did ask a lot of different representatives. So you have that. You have uh, that information. But if you still feel like, you know what, I'd rather be on the safe side, then I would just recommend to do a self-test. You will be absolutely fine with the self-test. Just go to any pharmacy in Greece, get the self-test, but I am almost certain you will not need it. I actually did an experiment, and when was it? A few days ago, just a few days ago, but it was this week, this week. I traveled by ferry from Paros to Antiparos. No one looked at anything. No one asked me anything. I didn't do any test. I just wanted to test it. No one asked me anything. Everything was absolutely, everything was absolutely fine. No one had their documents with them. So it's very laid back. I think it just depends on the mode of transportation. If you're traveling, I think by, by air, you will have more eyes on you and you will have more kind of rules that you have to follow. If you're traveling by ferry, it is way more relaxed. So let's just put it that way. But yes, you have some people who are saying that, yes, make sure that you are testing. It is important in case something happens. You don't want to, you don't want to end up in this situation. I am more of a laid back person and it's just how I am. So, you know, if someone, if, if I get numerous ferry representatives to tell me that I don't need a test, I'm not going to go extra mile and go to pharmacy, get a self test, test it. It's, I don't think it's, it's absolutely necessary. Steven, tell me, leaving to live in Ukraine, July 9th, Lviv then, Sumi, wow, that is incredible, Steven. That is so cool. Are you excited? Are you all packed? You know, I've never been to Sumi. I've been to Lviv just once, even though I was born on, um, on a different part of Ukraine because that Ukraine is closer to Poland. I was born in Ukraine that is closer to Russia, but that part of Ukraine is just absolutely stunning. And Lviv is gorgeous. I just never been to, to Sumi. That's awesome. That's all. I'm so excited for you. You're going to have the best time. What an experience. 
All right, guys. So <laughs> back to it. So we talked about PLF. We talked about what you guys need to come to Greece, what you need to do to do Greece island hopping. And finally, what I wanted to tell you guys is that as of right now, and that is one of the, I think one of the questions that been um, asked the most right now, if you need testing to go back to the US. And what I saw from the website right now, from the official government website, it does say that you do need a negative test prior to coming back to the States even if you're vaccinated so you do need to be tested again of course and of course that becomes somewhat problematic for people because i know some people are like oh where am i going to find a place to be tested in greece I, I i get it guys i know it's when you're in a foreign country trying to find anything it's it's complicated. You don't know where things are. There is a language barrier. I get it totally. But just so you guys know, on most islands, you can get tested no problem. Just make sure to do it in advance. Don't try to, you know, do it like 12 hours prior to your flight back to the States. Give it enough time. And I would find out where is the place where you can get tested the pretty much the day you arrive to the island. If you know that, that from that island, you will be leaving back you know, to Athens, probably then, and then back to the States. I would find out right away because it just will make your life easier that way. Again, guys, Greece is awesome. I love it with all my heart, but it is very relaxed, guys. Things are just not like this, like in the States. So I would just give yourself plenty of time so you are not worrying and stressing out that you need to leave for the States tomorrow and you still have not received your, the results of your test. Another thing for you guys to keep in mind, if you are going to be, look at me being all serious. Sorry, guys, I'm so serious today. I'm just, you know, I think it's because I've been dealing with this for the past two weeks with my mom coming here and I've done so much research and I just saw how many things are still unclear and I've seen how many things she was worrying about. That's why I just sat down and I did tons of research. I've always been doing research, but now it's like a mountain of research that I've done. So I'm staying serious. So you just to make sure that I'm giving you all the information first of all, and to make sure I did not forget anything. So pretty much what I recommend guys is if you are, on, on Greek islands, I would stick to a bigger islands for testing only because if you're on a small island and you're doing a testing to go back to the States, a lot of times those small islands, they send your test to bigger islands. And that's where they do all the processing of your results and then they have to send it back to that small island. So it might take longer. That's why I'm saying try to stick to bigger islands so you will get the results of your test sooner. Again, I'm not saying that smaller islands won't return to you those tests in a decent period of time, but just to be on the safe side this year, I would stick to the bigger ones especially if you are planning on for for that for that island to be your last destination prior to going back to the states so i think that that is very very important all right guys so let me see i wrote down on my phone if i covered everything so we tra we covered greece travel restriction testing updates we tra we covered to travel to greece in 2021 we covered plf form remember links to the form and to the phone number down below in the description we covered greece greek island hopping and then on the way back yes i was on a roll today yes guys i covered it all all right so this is all guys and now just to give you in a couple of minutes what's going on in greece greece is pretty much back to normal 
you do have to wear masks, by the way, guys. A lot of people are also asking me if the masks are still mandatory. They're still mandatory in Greece. You still need to wear them. Now, outside, people are way more laid back with them. You can see people not wearing them at all or on their forehead or on their one eye. It's, it's, just, it's all over the place. But outside, I hardly see people wearing masks. Inside, absolutely every single time. Now, the music is back, guys. You can listen to the music, which for those of you maybe who don't know, for a long time in Greece, in the restaurants and bars and nightclubs, you couldn't play music. So it was very, very quiet in Greece. Now you definitely can listen to the music. The music is back in all the restaurants, bars, lounges. So it's loud again. It is loud again in Greece, guys. And finally, what I wanted to say is that Greece is getting crowded, especially places like Mykonos. Yesterday, I was at one boutique and people who own that boutique, they are from Mykonos and they were showing me pictures of Mykonos just two days ago. And guys, you will not believe it. You will not believe that we were just in lockdown. I mean, it's packed. It's it's like person here, person here, person here. It's, it is crowded. So the crowds are definitely back. More so on popular islands like Mykonos. I'm sure Santorini is the same. But if I have to report, let's say, on Antiparos, where I was just yesterday, or Paros, where I'm currently at, definitely way more crowds, but it's not crowded. It's not too crowded yet. So, and that brings me to another point that the best time, in my opinion, to travel Greece, and you guys know that if you watch my videos, is May and June, because in July and August, who guys, it, there are just so many people, so many people, especially August. This is the month for all the Europeans to go on vacation. So if you ask me when is the best time to travel Greece, I would tell you May and June. But if you already booked your tickets for July and August, just disregard me. <laughs> Maybe next year. All right, guys, this is it. I know I always say to myself, okay, I'm just going to do a five minute live and 22 minutes later, here we are. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions for me, remember, as I told you from the beginning, leave me a comment down below. You guys have been super quiet today, by the way. Usually I have so many people talking and asking questions. Either I'm given a very valuable information or <laughs> you just can care less. Or you guys are all at work. I know I did this live at a very um, different time, but I just wanted to give you this information because my mom hopefully is on her way here. So it is very fresh in my memory. So I just wanted to make sure that I share it with you as soon as possible in case some of you are traveling to Greece soon. All right, fabulous people. If you are watching this live and if you are new to my channel, needless to ask because you already know what I'm going to ask you. I would be so grateful if you, of course, Give this video, give this live a thumb up. But most importantly, guys, please remember to smash that subscribe button. And I promise in return, I'm going to... Oh, Tonya, thank you so much. Sorry, guys. Rabbit. <laughs> thank you so much, Tony. Um, So Tonya is saying that... Just for your information, this weekend you will see a lot of crowd. Monday is religious holiday in Greece for the Holy Spirit. So those of you who will be traveling to Greece now, just FYI, thank you, Tonya. Your information is always very appreciated and super valuable. Thank you so much. All right, guys. As I was saying, most importantly, remember to smash that subscribe button and i promise guys in return to give you so much tips tricks and inspiration from greece and around the world i do three videos three videos a week guys i live for this channel i have no life besides this channel so you will definitely see me a lot and i promise you will get a lot of value from this channel i love my community with all my heart i love you guys you're awesome and I just welcome whoever new is watching this to become a part of my community. All right, guys, this is it. 
Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Sending you so much love from Greece. Any questions, I'm here. Biggest kiss and disconnecting. <laughs> Bye, guys.